Hello everyone. The main purpose of this tutorial is make you understand the basics of Windows command line. So the first thing is opening Windows command prompt. There are many ways uh, to open Windows command prompt. They, here are the couple of ways. Go to the start menu and start searching for command prompt. As you can see it is showed up in the results. The other way is go to the run tool and type in cmd and when you press enter it's gonna open open for you so here on my pc i pin it on the taskbar and i'm gonna click it when i click it the most beautiful thing i came across on the pc the most beautiful thing right so this is the command prompt so command prompt is basically a text interface for interacting with your computer you type in the commands here and computer will do the task for you but why would anyone use the command prompt? I mean, we already have this beautiful graphical user interface. So what's the user command prompt? The answer is simple. Command prompt is much more powerful than the graphical user interface. Don't believe me? Just start using it and you will find it. So command prompt is much more powerful than the GUI, which means graphical user interface. So uh, when you open the command prompt, uh, this is going this is what gonna show up uh, at the beginning so this is called as prompt so when this appears it means the command shell and uh, command prompt is ready to accept the command and this is uh, this text is called current working directory which which shows that where you are on the system uh, now i am in the c drive in the users folder in the sritam so uh, let's look at the couple of commands which are useful in navigation navigating around so first command is cd and which stands for change directory directory what's a directory directory is folder folders are referred as directories on command line so type in cd now press two dots and press enter as you can see we are we went back so this is called command and this is the arguments two dots will take you back and if you want to go get forward again press cd and pass the argument the folder name now you are in the same place now press cd two dots forward slash two dots what this is going to do is this will this will take you two steps back so as you can see we are in the c drive right now so these are the this is the basic command cd is the basic command for navigating around so under command is so let's get back to the default so and if you want to know what's inside this folder and what are the files and folders available inside just type in the command dir which stands for directories and it will list all the directories and files available inside so now press enter as you can see whole bunch of whole bunch of list uh, is popped up right now so these are all the folders in the street and folder so as you can see the desktop documents downloads so let's move to desktop as you can see you can move to desktop by pressing cd and the folder name so uh, so if you want to go back just press cd and two dots yes you are back i am going to show you i am going to show you the command prompt and i want to compare it with the graphical interface which will make you easier to learn so here we are on the desktop so let's go to desktop again sorry let's go to desktop again and press enter now we are on the desktop let's print the available directories plus type in dir and press enter as you can see there are four directories which are android hldocs python inbox as you can see there are four directories here it shows four directories so and if you ever wanted to create a folder you can use this command mk dir this is the command which stands for make directory and now type in the folder name i'm gonna make it tony so as you can see the tony folder is created right now and if let's let's move it to tony now we are in the tony and let's create another directory one and let let's open tony here in the graphical interface as you can see 
there is one folder in the Tony folder so if you want to delete if you want to delete it just press rmdar which stands for remove directory and type in the folder name as you can see this folder will be deleted so let's get back to the desktop now create another folder called uh, test now list the files dar as you can see there are two uh, this is the folder we are created right now test so this is it so let's go into test so if you want to create a file rather than a folder just type in the echo command and type in some content like hello and use this greater sign i know name the file i'm gonna name this sample and i'm gonna make it a text document so dot txt as you can see in the test folder a sample dot txt is created and you can see here by pressing the dar command as you can see there is one file sample dot txt is here it shows two directories uh, but uh, you can ask me that there are no directories at all in this folder but here it is showing two directories why the thing is the there are called as hidden files hidden files and folders which are not uh, shown in a graphical interface but don't mind about it ignore them so if you want to delete the file type in del and type in the file name again sample.txt txt del is the command and this is the argument so press enter as you can see the file is deleted let's create create it again as you can see now when you open this sample file you can you will see this hello so uh, if you want to see the content here in the comment form just use the command type and give some space and type in the argument which is the file name sorry make sure you spell it right sample.txt yes as you can see the hello is printed in the comment form so if you want to uh, write more content in the file type in echo again and now you uh, press any content like blah blah now use two uh, greater greater than signs because using one greater than sign will erase the previous content let me show you we'll use a uh, one greater sign and we'll type in the file name sample.txt one second okay as you can see when you open it you will see the this content now blah blah but uh, the previous content hello is deleted so in order to prevent this you need to use two greater signs here so uh, hello again two greater signs on type in the sample.txt now print out the content use comment type and the file name sample.txt as you can see the blah blah and hello again both are there here and when you open here you can see the previous content and the new content also so make sure you use two contents so now go back to the desktop cd now let's delete this folder okay to delete the folders uh, we can use rmdir to create folders we will use mkdir to delete folders we will use rmdir so type in the folder name i am gonna delete this folder tony so as you can see it is deleted let's try to delete this one also rmdir and test as you can see the warning has popped out saying that the directory is not empty so if the folder consists of uh, another files or uh, another folders it will not delete using the rmdir command so to delete it anyway use this type in rmdir forward slash yes and type in the folder name now it will ask for confirmation are you sure press y for yes now as you can see it is deleted so let's create another text file say it hello and name it as sample again 
sample.txt so if you want to rename the file just use the command move and type in the file name and the new name i'm gonna name it new new.txt as you can see the file is now renamed so and if you want to so one second let's create a directory called test now let's try to copy this into this folder to copy we'll use the copy command and the file name new.txt and the second argument is the destination folder test test as you can see the one file we moved as you can see this file has copied into test okay let's delete this here so now instead of copying we'll move this file entirely into the folder to move it we'll use the command move and the file name and the destination folder as second argument as you can see the file has moved so these are the basic commands for navigation and manipulation of uh, things uh, which are available on your pc so another thing is if you want to know uh, the available drives these are called as drives uh, the c drive c drive is the main drive so if you want to list all these in command prompt you'll type this command wmic logical disk space get name so this command is pretty long try to remember it <laughs> and this will list all the available drives on your pc so if by default from starting we are on the c c drive and if you want to go to the another drive uh, let's say e type in e and a colon and press enter now you are in the e drive you can list all the files here so if you want to clear, clear the screen completely type in cls now press enter what it's going to do is it will clear all the previous commands okay now let's move to c drive again okay they are so these are the available on my desktop let's uh, remove directory test as one file is there use this percentile g sorry forward slash s yes. now press enter yes now now let's see uh, if you want to change this uh, background color and text color use the command color and type in forward slash and a question mark now as you can see uh, specifies these are the color codes the first color corresponds to the background and the second the foreground so these are the color codes so let's type in we want uh, we want let's get a hacker look type in color and this black zero and this yeah, light green now press enter boom we are in the hacker mode <laughs> so if you want to get the default color again type in color yes and as you can see if you want to change this title command prompt just type in the title and I'm gonna type my name as you can see now the command prompt is replaced by my name so uh, if you want to change the color instead of using command is you can press here on this icon and you can edit you can edit defaults here so here is another tip so let's clear the screen again and let's go into the e directory so if, if you ever wanted to see the how the files are organized on your system type in this command tree when you type in this command all the folders and the nested folders all will uh, show up here now press enter now see go, 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 go. as you can see this whole bunch of the crap has been listed here in the in this folder this folder so all this nested folders and nested folders and nested files uh, will be popped up using the three command so clear the screen so so that's it for, that's it guys for this tutorial hope this video helpful i'm gonna make you some advanced tutorials uh, on the command prompt so 
please like share comment and please subscribe to my channel for more educational videos thank you guys for watching